All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to uh, set up a uh, I2C screen. The uh, we're using a uh, 16 by 2 I2C that only has the uh, four connections on it. They're really nice to work with and uh, a lot faster. A uh, little easier to to hook up and stuff. Uh, versus uh, the uh, other ones you use like 12, 16 wires in. So anyway, we're going to hook the screen up to the Pi here via 5 volts ground and just match up the SDA and the uh, SCL. Uh, the only thing we really need to do is uh, Enable uh, I2C under the uh, Raspberry Config uh, setup. And uh, to do that, we are just going to do a sudo. Then we can just type in the following here. Once it comes up, go under Interfacing. Then I2C. Hit Yes. And we're going to go ahead and reboot. <clears throat> so that change will take effect. So as you can see, we're just using these two and five volts and ground. So, and this is going to show the time and the date for on this screen so <clears throat> now that uh, this should be done let's just log back in here all right so the first uh, script that we need to set up we could just do a sudo and we can name this whatever we feel like. We could just name it time.py. <clears throat> so let me pull it up here. I have this stuff on my website, but I thought I'd just kind of condense it into a video and I'll make a uh, web page for it all on one web page or something like that so it'll be easy to find so anyway right there's what we need and you can also use a uh, 20 by 4 uh, screen with this the only thing you need to do is change the address and if you look here this says 1 and this says 2 uh, so you know row 1 row 2 on the 16 by 2 and if you would use a 20 by 4 you can move this to row uh, one and four, two and three, and three and four, whatever you feel like. <clears throat> so we're just going to save this. So we'll just do a control X, Y, and enter. So the next one we need to do <clears throat> is for the LCD driver and the I2C driver. The I2C file, I mean. So, let's just paste this guy in there. So, all right. So that's set up. So we just need to save this. Control X, Y, Enter. And the last one we need to do is the LCD driver. So we'll just copy. <clears throat> and paste this in. So, when I scroll up here, this is where you'll see the address of the display. So, if this, the 27's 
is pretty much all the uh, 16 by twos. If you're using a uh, 20 by four, it may be a 3F, but we're just gonna let it at a 27. So we can just do another control X, Y, and enter to save that. Uh, so now all we really need to do is <clears throat> just run our script. So if we run it, you can't see it, but I do have time and date on it. My time and date is not right on the pie, but that's another, you know. We don't need to really worry about that. That can be fixed. But uh, but there you go. It's not too uh, hard. Uh, <clears throat> and you can have this, uh, you know, start up, you know, doing like a Chrome tab or whatnot or under the uh, audio start. But you can just do a control C to exit now you can kind of run this in the background by adding the following and it comes up with a, with a number and stuff right here but sometimes i have an issue with doing that with the time but uh because you should be able to close the uh your ssh window and be fine so anyway i'll throw a link in the description for the uh the code and uh hopefully this helps out all right thanks for watching stay tuned for another one